Charge! Oh, I missed. Dang it. G'day guys, Menace here with another Ark Survival Evolve video on the Pooping Evolve server and today we've got a lot of stuff to do. There's a new patch that has been released with all sorts of good stuff and first of all I want to show you the best thing I've ever heard of in this entire game. <gasps> yeah, finally! They've updated this. This building is going to be the bestestest, I promise you. We're going to do some cool stuff. Um, speaking of cool stuff, I need to show you what I've been doing. So, last episode, we did the speed build of this big shed here. And I've filled it up with dinosaurs. And I've also added this ledge over here because um, I didn't make it big enough for my stegos to fit in. I put them up there and it looked derpy. Um, and yeah, so I've chucked this little awning off the side. And I think this turned out okay. Um, I have to have that with those walls there so that the roof here will actually fit. Um, kind of unfortunate that those stone posts I guess don't touch but they wouldn't really touch in a good way um, it'd be a bad touch for sure um, and I couldn't even get like a an angled slope wall there but you know my OCD will have to suffer once more this is you know I sacrificed my OCD for the building in Ark Survival Evolved but nonetheless I think it looks pretty baller what do you guys reckon what do you reckon I think it looks pretty that's a pretty good look at shed um, I'm going to fill it up with all sorts of goodness, um, we really need to get these dodos in check. Let's uh, let's grab you blokes. Come on, fellas. Actually, oh, you know what? These are sheilers. If you don't know what a sheiler is, you haven't watched this channel long enough. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've even said that before, but there's one bloke and a couple of sheilers. They're going to follow me. Let's go. You guys come inside. Get out of the, all the nasties. So what else is going on? So, yes, patch update today. We're going to go get a Pachyosaurus. Um, good news for us that the Pachys are, um, their favorite kibble is actually Dillo kibble. And we've been collecting heaps of Dillo eggs for that kibble. So I've got plenty of that stuff all prepared for today's episode. Have you guys pooped any eggs out of your cloacas? No, you have not. Come on, give me some eggs. You know what's kind of strange? Um, since moving the Carbonimuses over into this shed, they haven't pooped out one egg. And I'm kind of disappointed. Disappointed indeed. Anyway, um... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I put them up here. Like I originally had the turtles up here, but they weren't move, laying any eggs, like I said. So I moved them down here to see if it's any different. And to be honest, I haven't got a thing. I don't know if like when I'm cruising around the base, um, whether I'm not in range of them. I just don't know. Uh, hopefully we get some more. Let's go down here and I'll show you what else I've been doing. I put Ishni. I forgot to mention Ishni that I named a poop machine after you. <laughs> There's still a lot of people I need to give names to dinosaurs for. Um, a couple of new uh, uh, shout-outs need to be done. One to Crompo for the, sh the donation. Thank you so much, mate. As well as to Snow, who's a personal friend of mine. Thanks so much, dude, for giving me that cashola, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I went up in the mountains and I got some Plant Species X just to defend this place a bit more. The other day, this raptor man, he just came bounding in. Just came bounding in and started attacking mittens here. So today, we're going to go get nothing, apparently. Oh, there we go. Just so laggy. It's been really laggy. Um, we, I want to build a raft, and I want to go get a Pachyosaur. So um, I'm going to go collect some meat and then come back when I have some meat because my Pteranodon is completely empty. And, oh, yeah, also, actually, before we do that, I'm going to discuss some things. Um, the Pachyosaurus, his egg is, I believe, used for kibble for Pteranodons, Mesopithecus, and something useless. I can't recall what that is. Uh, so, you want to get a couple of Pachys to go up in the shed? That'll be pretty cool. Um, what else do we want to get? Um, yeah, this new saber is, is so good. Got it in the, in the Saber Gang episode. Mr. Truck, you're going down. Hey, hey. There we go. Get some meat for my kitty and for my Tyrannodon. So, yeah, I want to collect a couple more Dodos as well. We need some Dodo eggs. Well, we don't because Dodo eggs are for Mesopithecus. And the Packy eggs are also for Mesopithecus. So, if I just have a whole heap of Packies, then I'll be, I'll be laughing, mate. Should be apples for sure. All right, let's get all this raw meat and keratin. I'll be back. I'm going to show you some um, pretty much what else I've been doing. And I've got some ideas to discuss probably noticed that I had 38 walls in my inventory. I'm such a peanut. Going out on my poor little saber, forcing him to, you know, 
carry these 38 walls. <sighs> these are the things I have to deal with. Me being a big old peanut. Um, let's chuck these in to blue here. We don't really need that. I'm going to keep it though. Oh, so much raw meat these days. It's a lot different to the old server where we had the cheaty meat. Raw meat and all of that um, good stuff goes away very quickly. I'm going to eat some more steaks. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to put away these walls first of all. Still pretty excited about that function where you can uh, press E and turn them around. That's probably the best thing in this entire update. Um, so, what have I been doing? Yes, first of all we're going to talk about kibbles. I have got eight Dilo kibble, Dilo kibble. We've got 23 eggs. I might make some more. I don't know. We might go get one packy and see how it goes. Um, we'll probably get two this episode. If I don't get two in this episode, I'll have two by the next episode because I want to have the mate boosted ones. But look at all this. All this jerky. So this is what I've been collecting. We're going to take half of that stack as well to go on our journey for the packy. I've got quite a bit of uh, regular meat jerky here. Now, I want to... I'll show you actually. I'll put all these along here as well. So there's a bit of jerky and meat in here. So I've got four more preserving bins. Uh, six all up to make a whole heap of jerky. Now what I want to do... A lot of you guys have been requesting that I go back and build in the town. Um, and I've stated previously reasons as to why I wasn't doing that to begin with. But I do want to go back there and hang out with all the other bros. There's a bit of an issue with lag. We'll see how it goes recording. But what I want to do is I want to build... A kibble store like I may have mentioned in the previous season I don't know I might have talked about it let's go gamma 3 here so everyone can see what's going on um, I want to build a kibble store so let's go get on the train along a kibble store as well as a jerky store now I don't know the prices of such things like I'm thinking spark powder because that's obviously what the main resource that I use for hey I need dialogue need kibble I've got narcotics do I have enough? I don't have enough narco arrows, uh, trank arrows either. Where do you think you're going? Stop it. Um, so yeah, I want to make a kibble and uh, jerky store in the main town. And I will get to building that maybe next episode. Actually, I'll probably start building it after this and we'll go montage style. So um, I hope you like that other montage I did, by the way. Um, yeah, so we're going to build a cool little store in the main town. People are going to hopefully come and buy my jerky. I'm going to call it Menace's Smokehouse and Kibble Store. Should be pretty cool, fun to build. I've got ideas for like the layout and everything. Um, what do I want? I want to make some arrows up. So I'm going to make up some arrows and we're going to go look for a pack ye. Start collecting some flint for arrows and I wanted to show this to you guys. I'm not sure if you know, but you can actually get stone and flint from these tiny little rocks here and it's actually pretty profitable. They actually yield the same amount of uh, I, um, rocks and flint that you get from one of these big ones and they're pretty much all over the map like if you're sort of up in the hills you'll find them as well so I wanted to share that tip with you guys I'm gonna just get a heap of flint here we're gonna make up some of these arrows we'll make 45 and then I'll just keep well I'll wait a little bit let's uh, we should get like 20 or so maybe maybe we'll go go 30 for these trank arrows I wonder how I didn't notice my character doing this every time I crafted he resets his stance uh, 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 uh. looks like he's got some kind of like a twitch or something wrong with him you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's okay. All right, um, oh, that's 50. Okay, that should be plenty. Um, we'll go grab some more of these. It's, oh, it always has to be night time when I want to record. Um, before we do that, let's go check, see if, because I've been derping around the base, let's go see if i got some eggies from my dillos or my new dodos, which I kind of won't need hopefully soon. Hopefully the packies will pump them out. You know what I really want, guys? I really want the OV Raptor. That would be the best ever. That'll help our kibble store tenfold, especially with product moving of product because I imagine that there will be a lot of guys on the server that want to buy kibble um, especially if you're like uh, you know in a rush like oh I see this really sick level 120 dodo I want some kibble I'll go up to Menace's smokehouse and kibble store for some of that Man, I could be a real good salesman for this <laughs> kibble. but I think yeah the, the guys on the server might appreciate it and hopefully um, you know it kind of can help me out as well a lot of spark powder i'll probably be putting in i'll definitely be powering it so there will be a generator inside i'll be putting a whole heap of um uh, preserving bins so that i can create some of that stuff oh i forgot to introduce you the to a i got a new down here an ichthyosaurus ichthyosaur yeah yeah, yeah. ichthyosaurus ichthyosaur whatever you want to call it just down there you probably can't see it because it's not rendered in um and that's how i've been collecting my metal they're not really exciting to tame, so I didn't really feel like um, putting that onto camera. Got 57 arrows. Let's go out for a lap. Actually, while we're out for a lap, I want to 
discuss with you something. Oh, I thought about as well with the new Bronto saddle. I thought it'd be a great idea. And I mentioned to the other blokes, so I don't know if they're going to do it, but I thought it'd be a great idea if to use a... Wow, look at this. What's going on down here? What are you doing, Ichthyosaurus? Are you having a little party? It's kind of a rude party, if you ask me. There's three of you. You got some friends over, dude? I hope this isn't like one of those ones where you put keys in a fishbowl. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Yes. Uh, a Bronto would be a great idea with a Bronto saddle, the buildable platform in the latest patch, up on top of like a, a mountain over there with lots of metal. And that could be a great thing to replace like a, a bunch of platforms that you put down for crafting up in the mountain. I don't know if you guys do it. I know we did it in the last server, but we built like a platform with a whole heap of, um, with a smeltery, I guess you could call it. Had some storage and stuff. Wouldn't that, I reckon that would be heaps better on a Bronto because that way there wouldn't be any... Um, any stoppage of metal rocks respawning you could get the most out of it so hopefully that's what we're going to do on this server it's going to be a little while before i can even make one because i'm still three levels off um getting this one this is the new bronto saddle and i believe it takes like 100 pearls 200 metal something like that i thought it was going to be a lot more expensive which is kind of disappointing oh i got a scorpion egg um i'm going to put that in the fridge why have i got so, so much weight on me oh let's just drop all this off i'll keep the metal don't need that crap there we go, my my Tyranodon may fly a little quicker now. Um, let's go down to the egg fridge. Oh, this server is so laggy today, guys. I'm not looking forward to trying to kill or trying to tame a packy. Um, let's jump on you. We need to go back to Gamma Reglia Gamma. And we'll go down here and I'll tell you what I wanted to do. So now I've got one water dino as well as like a little party going on here of other ichthyosaurs that I could potentially tame. There's actually a level 64 on there. I might think about that at another time. But what I want to do is kind of block off this whole area here. Now, I was talking to the dude Chaos, that dude Chaos, if you guys know him. Um, he's kind of built just over the other side of the hill and he and I are thinking about doing some collaboration and building a bit of a docking area here for our water animals. And I'll jump in and show you. Get off. Look at that. That's so laggy. That's not good at all. Um, so this is sort of deep enough for at least for an ichthyosaur and a megalodon to get through. I don't know about a plesiosaur. I've never owned one. We'll have to see how far they go. But I think they can get, like, pretty high. But yeah, the idea would be is to put a stone behemoth gate just sort of across here and put some docking area around this entire base. Don't know exactly how it's going to work, but we'll see. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go search for... I don't know if I'm going to go high level packy. Did I bring the kibble? Oh, jeez, guys. I'm so unorganized. I'm a peanut, basically. I'm going to go back and get the kibble. Then I'm going to find a packy for you blokes. Guys, guys, look at this. I found one. And there's a raptor over here. You know what? I'm going to kill this raptor first of all. But this is a level 116. Yeah. Level 116. Pachysaur. Pachysaurus? I don't know. Pachysaur, Pachysaurus, Packy. What else we got around here? Do we have any others? No. This guy seems pretty alone. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Level 116. Go creep up on him. I'm gonna shoot him right there. Right there. Come on. 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 He's probably gonna wreck my face, you know. One shot. Let's go. How fast are they? Why do they sh bar like a blooming sheep? <laughs> Sounds like a sheep, dudes. Oh, that's hilarious. This is actually not a bad spot to tame. Hey, is he down? No, 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 no. He's caught on some trees. Yep. <laughs> Got another headshot. Get it in ya. Get some trank arrows up ya and pass out, please. No, I don't want to hit you too soon. He was already a little bit bloody. Um, so we've got to be careful here. Yeah, you don't really navigate, really navigate too well through those trees, do ya? All right. I pooped. Don't want to slip over in that, do you? No more packies around? I don't know if this is a male or female. Not that it really matters for our first one. Take some trank arrows. Maybe I shouldn't shoot it in the head. I know their head's pretty tough. Maybe I should shoot it, like, in the chest. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to get bucked here. Come on. Drop, drop you. Lovely little creature. Ow, that hurt. No, oh, not really. I do have a lot of health, though. We'll keep going around here. Round and round. They're like a little, um... 
miniature parasaur, I guess. They sort of look like that. I don't know. Can you, I think you can ride them. I haven't checked the dossier. I'm pretty sure you can. I should check the Engram and see if there's a saddle. That'll tell me. Um, well, they might just be a little, like, helpful mount. This guy is taking a ton of arrows. Or I'm missing him. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting him because he's making his sheep noises. Oh, <laughs> we're in trouble. We're in lots of trouble. Oh, crap. Can you knock out, please? All right, what can we do here? Can poop. That'll help. Um, let's get on blue for a sec and see what... Hey, hey. Oh, he's getting attacked by stupid... Tighten a mur tighten a murmurs, tighten the mirrors. Um, what else? I could punch him. Come on, let's go. Oh, just cra broke all of my armor. I've not been prepared for this. Oh no, where's my pteranodon? He's fully pieced out, guys. This is such a bad idea. Hmm. Oh no, there he is. Come on down. Yes, that worked. All right, let's get on to blue. Come on, bro. Get down here. Try and get um, away from this packy. If it hasn't been passed out already. You land. And maybe... Oh my god. These Pteranodon AI is really bad. Maybe we can come back to this guy. Or do you want to... Maybe we can kite it back to base. Let's see... Alright, I'm going to see if I can kite this back to base. It's kind of my own fault, like, for doing... Not being prepared. The, the number one thing you need to be, before you head out and tame something, is be prepared. Let's put our... See if I can get my pants at least fixed. Yeah, I can. Oh, wait a minute. I can't fix them in there. That'd be why. Let's um, grab some metal out of here. Some wood and some hide and I think some fiber as well. What does it need? Metal hide and fiber. And we'll go over to the fabricator and fix up my pantaloons as well. Um, because, yeah, that's probably pretty important. Three and four. Oh, I think I'm going to have just enough. Or am I not? Repair you. Oh, I dropped them. That's so annoying. Where'd it go? There. They went on the front side. Hey. I said pick up. Let's go. Put you in here. Repair item. You can't now, like, bank them up. You used to be able to repair items, like, you know, a whole heap in a row. I guess you can't anymore. That's changed. Okay, now I've got <laughs> my crossbow fixed. I think that packy's still over there. We're going to go for round two, fellas. Okay, this is our packy here on the left, but there's also a big T-Rex that I'm going to try and kill. Hang on, let's see what level it is before we do that. Level 8. Yeah, we can, we can, we can down this. Let's, um, try not to hit any Brontos while we spear this bugger. Has he hit the Bronto? Yeah, he's wrecking the Bronto. I don't want to fight him. He should die in a second. But anyway, he's busy over there. Let's get the Packy aggroed. I think we should be alright. There's actually a Raptor over here as well. Which I'm going to spear tackle. Yoink. Just do an aileron roll into you. Oh, you are a bit of an obnoxious raptor, aren't you? It's also super laggy. Surprise. That didn't hit him. Hmm. Chasing him up there. Yeah, that, that hit him. I heard it. Wow, that is so bad. This is what I get for playing, like, with my mobile internets. That hit him again. What level is this stinky raptor? No! Oh, I hope I'm not dead. Level 56, how's my health? Okay, it looks like I just logged back in. Oh my god, there's that T-Rex as well. Will you just die? Good, now where are you, Blue? Blue, come here! Oh my god. Land! <laughs> this is a shamozzle, blokes. Get down here. Get down, 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 down. Land. Just what? Just stop. What are you doing? Where are you going? You can go. Uh oh, there's a T-Rex. Let's just try and not die here. 
Oh boy. Am I lagging? Alright, let's just run away because this T-Rex is slow. Oh. Whew. Whew. Okay. Getting on you. Getting the heck out of this death trap. I don't know where that stupid Tyrannosaurus sex is. Rex. T-Rex. There he is. You know what? I'm just going to kill you. Like I planned to before. Penance for your sins. Shame. Go. Go. Get him. Get him. Get him, Tyranny. Get him, Blue. There we go. Cool. That was a bit of XP as well. Now, can we please tame a Packy Ark Survival Evolved? Or are you going to be just like obnoxious and get in the way of my recording wishes today? Where is it gone? Has it like fully buggered off now? Or what? Here it is. Alright, cool. Now, I think there's some Mega Neuras on my butt. Somewhere over here. Oh, that's okay. We're back to this spot now. You park there. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay, guys. This pack has gone back to full health now. So, let's, um... Are they aggressive? Are you aggressive? No, you're not aggressive. Not until I shoot you. Let's get a bit of range on him. Now, I think everything's kind of cleared out. There's one shot. Take another one to you. Um, let's turn you on to passive first. So that I don't get no... Pteranodon attacking my prize pig here. My prize sheep, I should say. Let's go around this... These bunch of uh, trees here. Because he doesn't really have much... Luck. Getting those. Run, sprint. I hate how when you reload you can't sort of sprint. And you can't like st stop your reload. That'd be good if you, you have to actually press, you know, R to reload. Instead of it just being an automatic thing. Oh well. Alright, I'm going to see you when this guy drops. If he ever drops. Hey, down he goes. This is a really nice spot to go down as well. Okay, have I got kibble on my inventory? No, I broke my helmet as well. Let's grab some kibble and let's see how much this guy will actually tame up when I put that in there. I brought some medjos as well. I've got already a bunch of narcotics on my body. And I'm going to poop. Let's chuck you up here. Bit of you in there. And that as well. And let's wait and see what we get when we drop down to the right amount of health. Okay, 60 food down. Still hasn't eaten. Might be 80 or so. Let's drop on fairly quick. I hope this is a nice quick tame. Level 116. We'll see what the bonus levels are here. That'd be nice to get one really high level. High level packy tame. Oh, wow. I think we can paint dinos. There we go. Oh, yes. This is going to be less than 8 kibble. I'm so glad I got this dillo kibble. All right, I'm going to see you when we get back. Apparently have enough hide on me to even make a packy saddle. Let's do that. So you can ride them. I thought you could. I, I swear I read it somewhere. And you can. Good to see you, I'm right. Should be only like two more kibbles. So that's a four kibble tame. Uh, when we eventually get... Let's put, just put that in the inventory. Yeah, so four kibble tame for level 116. On the four times taming, I believe we're on. No, six times taming, I think, guys. And for those asking as well, it's actually four times... Um, Gathering speed. Uh, Armitage actually taught me a pretty neat trick to to figure out what your um, what, what your gathering speed is. Oh, I can't get my words out today. Gathering speed. You just pick up a rock. So four times stone. Every time it'll be four times. Four times. So yeah, that's how you know. Pretty cool. This guy's going to eat one more time. Then I'm going to take him for a lash. We're going to cross this river here. Let's actually take a squiz at the... Uh, the wildlife up in here. Hey, I see a piranha. Cool. You know what? You're so dead. My packy's going to headbutt you to the grave. All right. See you in a sec. Should be tamed any minute now. What is that? Hey, a packy. My sheep. I don't know what we're going to call it. Oh, well, I don't know what I was going to call it. Going to call it Crompo. Crompo. Cheers, mate, for the donation. Let's, uh... Chuck this saddle on board. And then Blue, you derpy AI Tyrannodon, you can follow us. Oh, cool. What's a right click do? 
Oh yeah, it's like a charge. Whoa! Okay, cool. And then is your normal attack. Wow, that charge is wicked. <laughs> yeah, first thing we do when we get a new dinosaur is poop. Let's take this down here. Um, and, oh, oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, come on, Piranha. You want some? You want some? Come get some. I'm gonna have sushi with you, mate. Let's go. You're gonna be Piranha Sushi in a second. <laughs> you, yeah, fear the wrath of my sheep. You know, this isn't working out at all. Let's just get out of the water. I bet you can't do this, sushi fish. <laughs> Did it poop? It pooped again. This is a poop machine. All right, let's cruise back to base. I'll see you there. Okay, that's dead. Let's get some stamina back. Blue, get out of the way. Um, yeah, let's take a look again. What's the melee damage? Yeah, 321. That's pretty poor. Like, when I was attacking that dillo, it was pretty horrific. Let's take that. Oh, two days. I think it doesn't... Yeah, 10 days. Let's leave that in there for now. Um, what stats did I get? 1120 health is pretty high. Not bad at all for that guy. Lots of oxygen. Oh, I don't think they swim very well. Movement speed 120. Not bad. So this is what they do. They're sort of like the Dota Curious when you right click. And they just keep running. Ugh, as long as my stupid Tyranodon doesn't get in the way. Let's go again. Charge. And they sprint a lot quicker. But you can't turn. So I guess that's how it rolls. Turn that off. And as soon as you like hit something, they kind of get dazed, I guess. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if how much damage that does. We'll have to test it out sometime. Pooping again. This is a poop machine. Cool. We got Crompo back to base. Level 173. Really nice looking dinosaur too. I like the look of him. Kind of looks derpy. <laughs> Big old skull on it. They're very tiny. Like they're bad. Yeah. Very small. They really like to poop. Um, so what I want to also build today is the... Raft. So the new raft has come out. It doesn't even have its folder of its own. 250 wood, 125 fiber, and 75 hide. We should have that here. Um, if I actually get my UI going here. Um, that's stone. Ooh. I don't even know my own way around my own base. Um, 250 wood, 125 fiber. And then some hide. I think we had a little bit of hide. And I've got a whole heap more in here. Some on my cat if I have to. Nope. Plenty. Let's make this here raft, the wooden raft. Chuck it in our inventory, I assume. You just sort of place it down on the water. We'll go down the water and give it a burl. I park up here next to my ichthyosaur party. Stop it, Blue. Um, and then... Whoa, that's huge! What the heck? The wood looks like chocolate. <laughs> They're chocolate logs. How pretty. Owned by Menace. Let's get on it. So, E to drive. There's more options. Ooh. Turn! Turn! Oh, okay. So you got to accelerate to turn. It's like a real boat, I guess. Except the wind is... There's no wind factor. It just goes forward. Cool. Is it like a sprint? Nope. Can we do some sick donuts? Blah, blah. Drifting. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Um, Don't get landed. Uh, what's that called? There's a thing. There's a thing where you're like, beached, hey, that's how it's called. Um, let's see what other options there are. Can we... There was like other options. Get... You can't like, get back in. You have to like, get in down here. Oh, that's crappy. Here to drive. Uh, we'll go back to the shore. We'll beach this bad boy. I wonder if it goes backwards. I mean, physics says no backwards, but... No, you cannot go backwards. That's good. It's just a break. A bit of a break. Let's see what the other options are here. I'm going to get under. Change name. S. S. Peanut. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? You can name your boat the Chocolate Peanut, actually. Because look at those chocolate logs. Let's change the name to the Chocolate Peanut. S. S. Chocolate Peanut. I like chocolate peanuts. Such a tasty name for a boat. Woo! All right, that's it, guys, for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Let me give you some feedback, eh, on that, um, on my little shed up there. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, hit that like button as well. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Menace. Yar, the pirate. And I'll see you next time. He <laughs> playing yo-yo with Corrales, oh dude. Hey, he's <laughs> like a slinky. Brain. Dude, I got spot no all way. in these death already, man. I know, but look, look over there. I can, I can already tell who the alphas of the tribe are. Here, mm -hmm. left. I ain't gonna mess with them.